Uh, hi once again, um, welcome back to my video. Uh, so today I'm going to share with you how do you prepare salt. Okay, so how do you prepare salt? So uh, right now, right, let me jump straight into the topic. Uh, once again, I'm Jared of the founder of Achievers Dream, and the outline for today is the background knowledge needed. Okay, this which is the solubility table, and the process um, to prepare salt. Uh, last one, we'll end off with examples. 10 examples to make sure after you watch this video, you will understand exactly what am I trying to say. Okay? Alright, so, um, you're gonna start with the background knowledge, which is solubility table as well as uh, uh, acid reactions. Okay? So, first off, let me move on to the solubility table. Okay? Right now, over here, it looks a bit confusing, but follow my guide. Okay? So, over here, we have soluble salts. Okay, soluble salts and insoluble salts. Soluble just means they can dissolve in water. Insoluble means they cannot dissolve in water. So if you are going to put a state symbol for this, it will be solid. Okay, so all hydroxides are insoluble except SPA, sodium, potassium, ammonium. Okay, so uh, SPA is the safest, especially for precipitation reaction. Okay, I will going to elaborate why later. Okay, so all these are soluble. SPF phosphate, SPA carbonate, all sulfates are soluble except BCLS. This is why I teach my students. Okay, BCLS. Okay, so alternatively, you can leave out S. Some students learn it as CLB. Okay, Chinese B. Alright, soluble salts, all halides are actually soluble, okay, except lead and silver. Okay. So all nitrates are soluble and all sulfides is something extra for you. Okay. So once you understand this, okay, the next thing you have to understand is acid reaction. Let me quickly go through it. Okay, number one, okay, acid can react with three kinds that we learn. Number one is metal. Okay. Number one is metal. Okay. Uh, number two is carbonate. Number three is Acid plus base titration. Okay, because this is the reaction that you need exactly in order for you to form salts. Okay, so once you get these two background information, okay, so these two background information, let me name this as number one, name this as number two, name this as number three. Okay, just think of my numbering because uh, I'll be exactly using this. Okay, for the later part. Okay, so once you know about the three different reactions which I'm going to do it later, you must ask yourself whether salt is soluble or insoluble. If it's insoluble, it's straightforward, you use precipitation. Precipitation is just using two soluble salts together, soluble salt plus soluble salt gives you insoluble salt plus soluble salt. Okay, so uh, I'll elaborate this later. Okay, so whereas for insoluble salt, there are three methods. Method 1, method 2, method 3. 1 right, is for reactive metals. Number 2 is for unreactive metals. 3 are for others. Okay, let me elaborate this uh, with the reactivity series. Okay, please stop calling me a zebra. Hydrogen is here. Copper is here. Dot, 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 dot. So from here to here, these are all reactive metals. I use method 1. From here to here, I use method 3. From here to here, I use method 2. What is method 1, 2, and 3? So method 1 right, is just called titration. Whereby you add acid plus base. Okay, because I cannot use... What's the first method? Acid plus base. Second method, acid plus carbonate. Third method, acid plus metal. Why I cannot use the third method for, for number one? Oh, it is because potassium and sodium, they are very reactive in water. So they might cause explosive reaction which we do not want it to happen. So whereas for reaction number two is copper, they are unreactive metals, we cannot use number three as well because there's no reaction. That's why we resort to number two. Because if let's say I use number one, it is a very tedious method to describe. That's why I use method number two. Lastly, 
Number three, I use method three for the rest, acid plus metal. It is very easy to describe. Later, I will briefly go through with you. Okay? So once you understand this, right, let me dive straight in to the examples and you will understand what I mean. Okay? So from here, you see that it is NaCl. When you see things like sodium, you see SPA salts, or reactive metals, straight away think of titration. Okay, titration. So when you think of titration, right? What are the two reagents yeah, you're gonna use? So you're yeah, using acid plus base. So what acid will give you chloride? So it's hydrochloric acid plus NaOH. Okay, so this is how you prepare method number one. Can you mention Na plus HCl? Okay, you cannot do that because it's too explosive. Okay, how we understand example number one is simple. Example number two, okay, let me elaborate on this because number two is an insoluble salt calcium sulfate BCLS, also known as CLB. Okay, it's calcium. Okay, so it's insoluble. This is soluble. That's why we use method 1, 2, 3. If it's insoluble, we use precipitation. Whereby we must use calcium something plus something sulfate. Both are soluble. You get calcium sulfate plus something. Okay, what is always soluble? If you look at the solubility table, right, my two favorite, right, is number one nitrate because all nitrates are soluble number two i choose i love to use sodium because all sodium are soluble spa soluble nitrates are all soluble if i use this i will not go wrong okay can you see how i filled it up this both of them they will mix partners why because it is ca2 plus let me tell you the ions involved first okay no3 minus na plus so4 2 minus I can switch a partner like this. Can you see any NO3? Can you see CuSO4? This is solid. This is AQ. Alright? This is method number two. How you um, prepare the salt is use precipitation using this two. Alright, number three. Number three, once again, right, is, um, is a precipitation reaction. Okay, let me show you. PB, Cl. Since it's precipitation reaction, Okay, it's insoluble salt, we can use precipitation. It is soluble plus soluble give you insoluble plus soluble. Okay, so what's soluble, what's not? Okay, PBCL2 plus something. So the safest bet is always to use nitrate. So we use nitrate. The next that we can do is either sodium, potassium. We can use either one of them. So it's KNO3. This is how you prepare this salt. Okay, this for example 3. So for students, right, they're thinking how you do it, right? Just go through a few rounds, see how I do it, um, cover the questions and practice again. Okay, number four, zinc nitrate. Okay, this zinc nitrate, right, how you prepare is by using acid plus metal. Why? Because they fall under the category B, so call it me, A, Z, blah, 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 hydrogen, copper. Can you see? They fall into this category. So the easiest way to use acid plus metal, which is zinc plus nitric acid, HNO3. Okay? So you get zinc nitrate plus hydrogen gas. Lastly, you have copper sulfate. Copper sulfate is an unreactive metal. Over here, I cannot use acid plus metal. So what I have to use right is, is num method number uh, in the middle. Okay, I use copper carbonate plus sulfuric acid to give you copper sulfate plus CO2 plus H2O. Okay, so I hope you are clear with this. If you are not, don't worry. Um, I'll have another five questions prepared for you. But what you can do is to pause the video and attempt them before looking at my answers in fact for this page if you can also pause the video that will be great because you can double check and make sure you are on the right track okay next five questions okay go ahead and pause the video for five seconds okay 
and um, quickly work it out and see which method will you use okay so thereafter I will discuss with you how you can do it okay okay so if you're looking at the method how do you do it so MGCL2 let me write this down first please stop calling Alright, so Mg belongs to here, so the method I'm using is acid plus carbonate. So acid, since it must be something to do with chlorine, is hydrochloric acid plus Mg, okay, MgCO3. This is the method I'm using. Add them together, you can get the answer. How about barium sulfate? Barium sulfate is insoluble. This is soluble, huh? The first question you ask yourself whether is it soluble? Next question, ask yourself whether is it a reactive metal, unreactive metal, or the others, if it's soluble. If it's insoluble, straight away use precipitation, which is the case for question 7. Insoluble, so must be barium something plus something sulfate. To give you barium sulfate plus H2O. Okay, no, sorry, barium sulfate plus something. Okay, so I always choose barium nitrate. Okay, I always choose sodium because these two are always soluble. So I will get NaNO3 over here. I will get BaSO4 which is insoluble. Okay, so the two things I'm using is barium nitrate and sodium chloride. Sodium sulfate, sorry. So next question 8. If you take a look at K. So K, oh, is a reactive metal. Straight ahead. You must think of titration. So it's acid plus base. Acid with HCl because of Cl plus KOH. Okay, hydro uh, potassium hydroxide. You get your product. Okay, last two questions. Uh, I'm gonna go a bit faster because it is zinc. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna use acid plus metal. Okay, so which is zinc plus HNO3. Lastly, HNO4, SO4. Sorry, it's a bit big. The formula is not correct as well. It's NH4 to SO4. Okay. So over here, right, you see SPA salts, right, immediately just do titration. So it'll be NH4OH plus H2SO4. Okay? So once you get, um, get to see this video, you get a very good summary, a bird's eye view of how what's going on. So to perfect it, right, what I would suggest to do is you watch this video, attempt some questions, and go and learn exactly how do you prepare them. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Okay? So off my mind right from here, if let's say you start from here. If you want to get this salt out because it's insoluble, you combine these two together, you can filter and get the residue. Okay, for example, if this reaction, okay, you just have to do what? You just have to add them together one of them is excess, you have to know which one is it okay so after that you must filter to obtain the filtrate filter to get the filtrate and when you get the filtrate you're going to undergo crystallization process okay to form the crystals okay all this can be gotten out from the textbook okay so with this right I come to, to the end of the salts video if you do need any help with regards to chemistry okay look at this you can discover the secret of getting 70 to 42 marks additional within 90 days okay let's say you don't need help or your friends don't need help share this video with them and uh, drop me a call if you do need any help and do leave a comment and let me know which are the areas you want me to do a video on and i'll be gladly to serve you okay so with that thank you very much and uh, i hope to see you again in the next video thank you